Show them, Joe's. Ooh, looky there. What is it? <laughs> it is a champion log splitter. That's right, 25 ton. <laughs> it's my Mother's Day present. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, it's seriously in pieces, man. <laughs> well, what do we got here? We've got a tire. Check that bad boy out, huh? Wow. I mean, it is in a lot of pieces. Yep. So, this is a keep you busy when you're with your, uh, what is it? The stay home? Yeah, lockdown. This is our lockdown project. That's what it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. It should be, should be fun. Hopefully, we can check this out right here. This is the main part. This is the I-beam and the hydraulic ram. I love that it is yellow and black. It's cool. It's like a wasp. So cool. So that's going to be the heaviest part. Yeah. What is it? Like 500 pounds? Yeah, the whole thing's 500 pounds. At least that's what it said on the shipping shipping label. Oh, those are the catchers, huh? Yeah. The log catchers? Good yeah. That's so awesome because a lot of them you have to pay extra for those. Right. And this it's included. So. Hey, look, we, the sun um, is coming out. Should we read the directions or just go for it? Well, I would read the instructions. <laughs> but you, maybe not. <laughs> all right. So here's all the information right here. You can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. This is the 25, this is the 25 ton champion log splitter. I love this one too because it has an only an 11 second cycle time. It's kind yeah. of a medium right. in between cycle time. It's not the slowest and it's not the fastest out there. Yeah, I'd say it's maybe leaning towards the faster side though, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of them are like 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the time it takes the um, for us to go forward and backwards. Okay. Yeah, this right okay. here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Amen. Twenty-five minutes forward. So. All right. Well. Wow. Yeah. This is a pretty in involved. Uh, <laughs> it's got a whole breakdown of the engine. Hmm. Oh wow. That's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Like all the parts, whole breakdown. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Oh, good. Half of it, only half of it's in English. <laughs> so it's not as thick as it looks. <laughs> no. All right, well, I think we can do it. I take know. A, take a few minutes to look over the instructions a bit, but it looks pretty straightforward. Yeah. Did you guys notice? Marty got a new shirt. Yep. <laughs> Finally. Important a new shirt. The sleeves are the right length, so they're not like all big and way up here. Awesome. Oh, cool. Step number one. We've got to get the um, hydraulic tank out, which is this guy right here. So, so how about um, I will try to lift up this the I beam, and you kind of try to slide that out. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Go. So this is the hydraulic tank. Yeah. And then the what the tow bar attaches to that. Yeah. You know what this is? This is a man puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Seven. Looks like we're gonna need a pretty big wrench. Wow. Yeah. And it takes a two inch ball, which is the same as our other trailer. So we don't have to switch balls or anything. Perfect. So, yeah. So it goes through here. Why don't you show everybody your awesome new haircut? <laughs> Dad cut it right here and right here, but not on top. But it's not a mohawk. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs>
peeling the plastic off of the white there. We got all of our hardware right here. And we need to use the M10s, it says. These bad boys right here. So the bolt goes in first, like that. And the washer, looks like anyway. And the lock washer. And the nut. And then the nut. And these are uh, 11 sixteenths. Slide the wheel 40 into the axle. Be sure the valve still faces it. So we got one for that side, one for this side. Oh, well, it's cool they have caps on them so they don't get yeah. dirt in them. Right, they're pre-greased. You want to make sure that the valve stem is pointing out. That's like the most important part, <laughs> I guess. I mean, not getting dirt in the bearings is more important, but as far as putting it on there. Seth, can you hold this up like that? Yeah, so like dirt and debris like these pine needles. Probably don't want those on there. All right, so we take out the carter pin, take off the castle nut. Ooh, you okay? Sorry, bud. Got Seth's fingers. Put this guy on there. That is very cool. Yeah, it's cool. You can repack these bearings too. Mm. Yeah. It just takes a little bit of wiggle and it's a nice snug fit on the axle. So it takes a little bit just to get it exactly where it needs to be. Is that called a castle nut? This is a castle nut. It looks like a castle. Uh huh. <laughs> and so the Carter pin can go through it and it won't come undone. Hmm. You getting tired, Southern? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so they said high and tight and then a quarter turn. Then spin it to distribute the grease. <laughs> Down. <laughs> He's not making that, that hard that for better? you. <laughs> Is that better? Not really. <laughs> All right. Then it said loosen it back up. Okay, we're loose. Then hand tight. Right there. I think. Hmm. Beautifully. Yeah. Hmm. Bend that up, huh? Yeah, it's on. Okay, you can sit down. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the back. I guess we'll that. That's smart. Yeah, bro. Beautiful. Nice. Great, huh? Wheel number one. Now we just do the same thing the other side. <laughs> Next thing we need to do is put in this support bar. That's to hold it up level. Basically it just slides in there and you put this pin through and it's gonna hold it in, in place. So it's adjustable, huh? Yeah. So one thing that could have been cooler with this had this just rotated up right instead of having to take the pin out and slide it up and stuff like that but it's still cool oh Ooh, sorry wait, my leg. i got mama look who joined the party hi duxer <laughs> hi oh, mama, i do down 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 <laughs> okay so this is this is the heavy part right here right yeah everything else is light part. yeah um and that's closer. Okay, hold on. So this needs to go right there where that big bolt was we took out. Need to get the um, 
this bolt through here. So let's try tipping that back some, a little bit more. There we go. Nice, good job. All right, so we've got big washer, we've got a smaller washer, and then a nut. Okay. Here's the lock pin. Ready? We don't want it to roll. Um, it should be fairly balanced, hopefully. Yeah, I got it there, so there. I got it. Look. How's it feel? Yeah, that's not bad. Good. So that's right. how you can raise it to the vertical position and horizontal right real easily then that's awesome yeah, yeah so now it can now you can tell it like this yeah Whew. engine time there we go Where, which one's the pump the pump's at the end of the engine it's Yikes. connected to the drive shaft whoa whoa that, that is a big dent yeah, that's not going to be good, huh? Hmm. Probably that way. Just cut the pull. Yeah. Oh, boy. Want some help? Yeah. Right now, we're just bolting the engine down. Four bolts that were provided. They look like this. Hopefully, they will send us a new valve cover. Yeah. We'll see how um, customer service is. <laughs> so here on the hoses, they look like they're labeled really clearly. This has a big green number one on it. This one right here has a big blue number two. Down there, where they go, they have a number one and a number two. <laughs> That's pretty clear. <laughs> it's starting to snow again pretty good. Huh? Check this out right here. We've got O-rings right here. All right, O-ring fitting. Okay, O-ring number two goes right there. And this guy, let's go right here like this. Then we gotta find the other hose. All right, I'm just gonna go right here. Yeah. And this one goes on. And there. Log catcher time. So we got bolts, we got washers and lock washers, and the nut, and the, the spot down here is actually threaded where it goes. So that makes it a little bit nicer, I guess. Oh, that's awkward. Go oh, on top or on the bottom? Probably on the bottom. Yeah. This one has Allen bolts. Hopefully we have the right size Allen wrench out here. So we put this guy here. Put the bolt through. Take our washers. Come on. Okay, when started. So what size are these guys? Oh yeah, perfecto. What size are they? 11 sixteenths. And 
now that we got the log catchers on, there's one little piece here. We've got to pull this little pin out here, slip this pin out, put the handle up, and then the pin can go back in. This one can go back in right here. Now we're ready to go. She is all put together here. Look at that. Ready to rock and roll. Except, of course, for that valve cover right there. It's going to have to be replaced. All we have to do is put the oil in the engine and the hydraulic fluid. And, of course, wait for that valve cover. Then we'll be ready to start splitting some wood. You want to see what else is going on here in our homestead? There's a video right over here that you might like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.